hello Suri. Welcome back to my channel. Today my video is all about uh, vulture pig. Do you know vulture pig? It's a very important in the Buddhist. And in Tibetan we call Chiago Pungburi. Chiago Pungburi. Chiago Pungburi. Do you see that? Okay, that is. I really hope that you guys will enjoy and something from that video. Actually, like, like, this place is called Rajgir and this place is exactly where King Bimbisara met Lord Gautam Buddha after his enlightenment. The chariot root and shell inscriptions it has that the root had been burned into the rock by the speed and power of Lord Krishna chariot when he entered the city of Rajgir. <coughs> <laughs> now we are here in a Krita Kuta Hill. <laughs> Krita Kuta, also known as the Vulture Peak. This is the one of the most ancient sites where the Buddha is said to have preached his lotus sermon. Vulture pig, meaning indeed the pig appears as a shape of a vulture head with the natural stone formations. And he gives his second wheel of law in motion sites. Uh, And here also said that Lord Buddha set his second wheel of law in motion side. Uh, uh, he his second sermon here and <laughs> preach his devotes for three months and also introduced King Bimbisara to Buddhism. <laughs> Now we reach in Nalanda, Nalanda University, and we are today we are going to explore the university. The Nalanda means giver of lotus, since lotus is sampled as a knowledge, and Nalanda means giver of knowledge. Nalanda was the largest residential center of learning that the world had ever known. The library was located in a nine-store building since the time of Buddha. The bhikkhus were always encouraged to study the various acts and signs. Learning was greatly encouraged as a serve to purposes such as knowledge and practice the monks therefore took to learning so that they might practice it and release dhamma perfectly and thereby in thereby enrich the masses mm. university of nalanda was founded in the fifth century by the gupta emperors there were thousands of students and teachers Subjects taught at Nalanda University cover every field of learning. <laughs> the courses offered at Nalanda included the study of scriptures of Mahayana and Hinayana, schools of Buddhism, Brahminical Ved text, philosophy, logic, theology, grammar, Rami, mathematics, and medicine. Its importance as a monastic university continued until the end of 12th century. Yunsang, the Chinese pilgrim, spent two years at Nalanda. He has left a detailed note about the university and its curriculum activities and other accounts. The Tibetan pilgrim Dharma Maswamin was here in 1934 AD and also has left a gripping account of the monastery destructions by the Muslims. I hope you guys enjoy my video and don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button.